Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribunet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about friction in different materials. Why to study the friction in materials? Friction of materials is an important property to be studied to understand its role in any mechanical applications. The tribological properties of any materials is determined by its frictional behavior. This behavior will determine the life of the materials. Every material has its own behavior for friction and it depends on the material properties which needs to be understood in order to study the frictional behavior. Here we can see the materials that defy the friction in the atomic scale. Next, friction in metals. The friction on metals mainly depends on surface cleanliness. When the metallic surface is clean, then it exhibits high adhesion leading to high friction and wear. The metallic bonds are formed at the interfaces of the two metals in contact leading to the transfer of one metal layer over the other causing the wear debris. The formation of any contamination or any oxide layers can reduce the friction loss at the surface of the metals. There are also various other factors affecting the friction on metals such as operating conditions which includes the applied loads, temperature, sliding velocity, pressure, gaseous environment humidity etc. Here we can see the various metallic applications. Next, friction of ceramics. The friction in ceramics is quite different in comparison to the metal because of their bonding nature with respect to its interatomic forces with covalent and ionic bonding. They show very limited plastic flow at the room temperature and less ductility in comparison to metals. However, they have good mechanical strength, oxidation at elevated temperature and the resistant properties towards the corrosive environment. There are properties such as fracture toughness, sliding speed, applied load and temperature which affects the frictional properties of the ceramics. Here we can see one of the applications of ceramics which is the ceramic bearings. Next, friction in polymers. The frictional behavior of the polymers are quite different in comparison to the metals and ceramics. They exhibit very low friction coefficients due to their low elastic modulus and lower strength. They lack rigidity and strength and they flow to the modest pressure and temperature. Hence, the polymer composites are used to improve their frictional properties thereby applying in various applications. The basic forces responsible to vary the frictional properties of the polymers are adhesion, deformation and elastic hysteresis. As per the adhesion analysis, it is found that the surface roughness and the normal load affect the friction coefficients in the polymers. There are also other factors such as the asperity deformation, sliding velocity and temperature that affects the frictional properties of the polymer. Here we can see one of the polymer gears which is an application of the polymers. Next, let us understand the friction in solid lubricated materials such as graphite and molybdenum disulfide. In graphite, it, it has a layer of lattice crystal structure which has the ability to form the strong chemical bonds with the gases such as water vapors. This adsorption of the molecules on the surface results in the lower friction coefficients. The graphite structure has the lamellae that slides parallel to the line that are low energy surfaces and causes little adhesion. In case of the molybdenum disulfide, they have the hexagonal lamellar crystal structure same as the graphite. These layers in the crystal structures are tightly packed and are covalently bonded between the atoms which is very strong. These layers are separated by large distance which is supported by the weak van der Waals forces. Thus the materials are strongly anisotropic with a very mechanical and physical properties. Thus they act as a self lubricants and exhibits better frictional properties. These are the references for the information provided in this video. And in this video we studied why do we need to study the friction in materials, what are the frictional properties of metals, ceramics and polymers and also the solid lubricated materials. Thank you for watching this video. To get to more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribunet. Also visit our website on www.tribunet.org.